Hey internets, Pixel Geek here, and today's video is a response to a viewer email from Marcus H. Marcus writes, Hi Nelson, basically I have my first client for an actual website, but I'm more of a designer than a developer. I know some HTML and CSS and what it does, but I'm not confident enough to make a website from scratch. I noticed you use Webflow quite a lot and wondered if you think it would be suitable for me. Basically, what I'm asking is, do I need to know HTML and CSS inside and out before using a tool like Webflow? Now, Marcus, I know I said I was going to reply to your email a couple weeks ago, and this is my late reply. Been busy at work, huge project. Also, the holiday season, presents and whatnot, and yada yada. Excuses aside, here's your answer. First of all, Congrats on your first client. Do you need to know HTML and CSS before using Webflow? No, there's a lot of templates out there, a lot of premium templates that you can use. All you gotta do is, you know, replace the text, replace the imagery and the background imagery, and you got yourself a website. But having a good knowledge of the basic building blocks of web programming really does help, and it makes you very valuable. And if you're a designer and you're scared of code, don't be. HTML and CSS is very, very easy to learn. When you break it down, you have three basic tags for HTML. You have HTML, and then you have the head, and then you have the body. It makes sense. It's kind of like, you know, this is me, this is my head, this is my body. That's how a website's built. And then it just gets more and more detailed after that. CSS is just like, you know, designing the parts of the body. What color eyes? Brown. What color skin? Well, if you can get a hex color of my Filipino skin, it would be that. So HTML and CSS, not that hard to learn. And if you want, go to teamtreehouse.com or codeacademy.com and they have paid programs that you can follow that are very interactive and help you learn really quickly HTML and CSS. Or you can just Google it. You'll find tons and tons of resources for it. The reason why I stress learning HTML and CSS before using Webflow is because once you learn the basics of HTML and CSS, you'll start to understand what Webflow and similar tools like it are doing in the background. You know, you can just drag in a, a div or some columns or an image. You can drag in an image, but you won't really understand what's happening inside of the code. And once you learn all those building blocks, you'll start to think and work more efficiently on Webflow. As with any creative tool, without proper basic knowledge on how to use it efficiently, the tool will become more of a pain to use rather than an extension of your creativity. Good luck out there. Learn HTML and CSS. And you know, if you need help, just email me back. I'll try to help as much as I can. If anyone else has a question or comment, go ahead and leave it below and I'll answer it in a video if you want me to to just help out the community. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for your patience as I look for time to produce more and more of these videos. Again, I've been super busy, but yeah, thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya.